Hello everybody. Today we're going to attach the wings to the airplane. With the empennage uh, almost completely ready, just for some uh, fairings left to do, we can now start with the, the wings. The wings were attached before just for um, setting the angle of incidence. That was back in my, uh, in my workshop. We did that one wing at a time. Now we're going to attach both wings. First we need to get, for the left wing at least, we need to get the uh, distance from the uh, saw horses to the fuselage. That is because there is a, uh, a pitot tube uh, in the way, so you cannot, you cannot lay the, uh, the wing flat. The sources are quite flimsy, uh, but, but we did it before and it works quite good. So uh, it's quite easy to insert the wing. Uh, when one person is uh, kind of moving the wing left, right, up and down a little bit uh, on, the, on the wing tip, and the other one is uh, trying to insert the, the main spar into the, the, the main bulkhead. It works quite good. Um, there were some issues with uh, some cables and some tubing that we need to uh, do. So the, the, the tubes of the pito and angle of attack and also the tubing for the, uh, the wing lights. There was some work there. And of course you need to be careful with the, the bottom skin because the bottom fuselage skin needs to go over the, um, the skin, the outsourced skin from the, from the wing. So there are a few f points that you need to keep into account, but besides that it goes pretty well. Then of course you need to um, insert the fuel lines and stuff like that. Uh, and we need to insert bolts on the inside uh, to connect the wing, to attach the wing to the fuselage. Um, we did that before and it is not very easy because these uh, bolts are they're very tight fit with the holes. Uh, which is of course good, there shouldn't be any play on them. Uh, but it's very hard to get them in, so uh, it, uh, yeah, it just takes some time. Uh, we use some uh, little grease and uh, I have a few bolts, extra bolts created and uh, which are, let's say, made, made into a point so I can uh, easily jam them in the, the holes so they will center. Uh, because there's no way, if, if, the, if the, the holes aren't completely centered, there's no way you can get the bolt in. It's, it's just too much, it's just too close a fit. So it, uh, it takes some time and you have to be careful there that not to, you don't, well, you don't uh, either elongate the holes or, or break anything. And there are uh, eight bolts that need to go in there, two, if you are actually four big ones and, and, and uh, four small ones. I'm not sure why the four small ones are in there actually, because they, I don't think they are in there for any, let's say, fastening purpose, because there's, I mean, the, the big ones are big enough, you could say. Maybe they're used there for pilot holes, I'm not sure. The manual didn't say, so uh, I don't know. Anyway, it takes a lot of time, as you can see, and uh, we tried with uh, various ways to do it. And in the end, of course, uh, we succeeded. But it took, uh, yeah, it took some time. Here, for instance, my dad tries to get them in, and I try to uh, wiggle the, uh, the wing tips. And in the end, it, it worked. So uh, now back to the right wing, which is easier because there's less tubing and there's no pito tube in there. So it's yeah, it's just a little bit easier. Um, of course, there also we need the, the, the tubing in there from the wires, and there's also no return line in the in the right wing, so it's it's just easier. And also because we did already the left wing, um, yeah, it just, it just made it easier. Again, we have to take into account the, the skin and also the, the bolts need to go in there. As you can see, the wing can still move a little as long as there are not all bolts are in there. So you have to be, uh, be careful. It takes a lot of time, but yeah, it's not much you can do. Oh, so sometimes you you bump your head. By the way, when you're in there, because the, the space is too cramped, and uh, I've removed one seat so I can sit in the uh, the co-pilot seat on my knees. But 
the the main spar is all the way down so it uh, yeah it's a little cramped in there and there's also not much room to get the uh, the bolts in specifically because uh, I already inserted the antennas as I said earlier I did the uh, the transponder and the radio antennas inserted them before which is good because it's harder to get them in once the wing is on but once you install those it's actually harder to get the bolts in so maybe it's better to first bolt the wing and then later to the antennas I, I guess in hindsight that was probably a better order to do things but at least you need two, two guys because there's no way that you can do it by yourself I mean with the wings not attached you can use the the hole for the for the push rods to do it yourself uh, but if if the wing is on there's no way you can uh, you can do it by yourself okay wings are attached which is good and uh, now we can uh, continue with the um, continue with the wing fairings which connect the wing to the um, the fuselage and we can get the plane back from its uh, level setting uh, with a tail wheel to the ground. Okay, continuing building my pie in the sky.